I am Regina Edwards and I'm the entomologist here at Crone Conservatory. My background is in entomology, which is the study of insects. And when I was nine years old, I started collecting insects. And I, it was a hobby of mine that I have never grown out of. And so uh, over my lifetime, I've worked in many different laboratories with insects. And I've been here at the show for many years. A typical day working at the butterfly show, um, I come in maybe around eight o'clock in the morning and make sure that we feed all of our butterflies, put out fruit, make sure they got uh, Gatorade to drink. And once we get all that done, we come back and all the butterflies that have emerged overnight, we start releasing those into uh, netted enclosures, which we are able to carry out to the butterfly exhibit to release to fly. We receive butterfly chrysalis in several times a week. Our native butterflies from Florida come in on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, and then our exotic butterflies, they come in on Fridays. Once we receive those boxes in, we unpack them very carefully, and we check each individual chrysalis to make sure that it's healthy and in good condition. And once we have determined that it is, then we bring them into our uh, internal chrysalis room, because we have two rooms, um, but we hang them from styrofoam in tanks. That way, when they're when they're hanging, the butterflies can emerge out safely. When the butterflies get ready to emerge, their chrysalis usually starts getting to be a darker color. That's how we know they're getting ready to emerge. Uh, once they do emerge, the butterflies have wings that are very wet, and so they're able, they have a fluid in them that they're able to pump through their wing veins to stretch out their wings. Once they get them stretched out, then they let them air dry before they're able to fly. This process can take anywhere from maybe an hour to four hours, depending on the size of the butterfly. Naturally, we think of butterflies as feeding on nectar from flowers, but many butterflies are fruit feeders. And so we wanna make sure that we always offer uh, fruit trays in here uh, with different varieties of fruit, maybe oranges, bananas, mangoes, watermelon, um, really any type of fruit that we have available. Um, and then we also offer, you know, many different uh, blooming flowers as well for those nectar feeders. Many scientists that study butterflies have used Gatorade in the past in their labs because the Gatorade contains a lot of the electrolytes or minerals and salts that the butterflies need to stay healthy. And so it's, it was just a natural progress for a lot of butterfly shows to use the Gatorades in the show to help support the, the health of the butterflies. I love the butterfly show for many reasons. Um, seeing butterflies from all over the world um, and even butterflies that are native to this area just flying in one big exhibit is just amazing. And they're just all over the place. And people in nature normally can't get this close to butterflies. So it just really op offers an opportunity to people to experience something that they can't normally experience on an everyday basis. And butterflies are so spectacular in the way that they develop and their wings and their coloration that they just, they're an inspiration to many people. So I find it really important that we continue these butterfly exhibits just because they're just so beautiful and it's so nice to be in here with them. Um, it also encourages people to maybe try to attract butterflies to their homes. Um, so a lot of people will question how to set up butterfly gardens and what plants are good for butterflies. You know, what's the difference between nectar plants and host plants? And so it gets people interested in butterflies and having the nature at their homes. And so it really helps with the conservation of these beautiful creatures too, to have these exhibits and let people experience this on their own. Thank you for visiting with us today at Crone Conservatory's Butterfly Show. I hope you get the chance to come in and see the butterflies all for yourself.